Konami is reprinting Light of Destruction. What's up guys, we're back with another news video where I wasn't expecting to make a video today because we got the whatnot stream tonight. You guys have already seen that stream by now, but if you didn't go check it out, I'm sure it was great. I haven't seen it yet because today's the day that's happening. I wasn't planning on making any videos today. I was gonna prepare for the stream. We got some official news though. And this is some kind of news that I couldn't really ignore. For a while, there's been rumors about Light of Destruction being reprinted. And if you don't know, Light of Destruction was a 2008 Yu-Gi-Oh set. It had stuff like Ghost or Honest. It had Judgment Dragon, a lot of like really crazy stuff. It was a big set back in the day. It was like right after Phantom Darkness. So it was like when Yu-Gi-Oh was super hot, a lot of people were playing it in 2008. When they said they're reprinting it, people were going crazy. Like, oh wow, that's amazing. And I personally was like, no possible way they're doing that. There's like, I was saying like 99 0.9% no. People were posting some stuff on Facebook about like some distro thing they saw or whatever, and I just didn't believe it. I was like, there's no way. Konami just doesn't reprint these old sets. They reprint six sets. They reprint LOB, they reprint MRD, SRL, which is Spell Ruler, Pharaoh Servant, Dark Crisis, and Invasion of Chaos. That's the only ones they reprint. They don't reprint anything but that. Well, it turns out I was wrong. Apparently, they actually are reprinting Light of Destruction, which is absolutely wild to me. So let's go through the post. Yu-Gi-Oh! News posted it on uh, X, which by the way, I figured, finally figured out how to do dark mode on here on my, my, my PC. I was like, man, I could barely see anything. It was like the Light of Destruction when I opened this thing up. Huh? Uh, okay, that was bad. All right, now it's official. An unlimited reprint of Light of Destruction will be printed. So I'm trying to remember, there already was an unlimited reprint, by the way, I just want to mention, we invested in Judgment Dragon. Of course we did. Of course we did. In the 1K investment, I bought the Judgment. Like, what could go, what more could go wrong with the Judgment Dragon investment? First, we buy the Judgment Dragon. I buy it for 180 bucks, a lot of money. First dead though, guy sends it to me. It's damaged. It's literally bent. So it's like, oh, this is great. Don't worry. I told you guys, I'm not going to keep the damage cards this year. I'm going to return them. I'm going to get a different one. So I did. I returned it. The guy let me return it. He's like, hey, I got an extra one. He shows me another picture. Cards like mod play. I'm like, no, no, thank you. Don't want it. So I had a second chance. Didn't like it. Third chance. I got hit up by Tricky Ending who saw the video about me having to return it. And he's like, hey, I got one for you. I can give it to you at a huge discount, hundred bucks. I'm like, great. Sounds good. I buy that one. And guess what? You guys have heard the story. If you saw the other video, it got lost. So not only we've gotten a damaged one, we've gotten a potential replacement at light play, but it was actually mod play. We've had one get lost, and now they're reprinting the whole set. Our investment in Judgment Dragon could not have been a worse choice. Let's read what they were going to say. Over the next few months, Duelists will have three chances to bolster their forces of justice with this Light of Destruction Unlimited reprint. Before we move on anymore, first of all, this is an EU only thing, by the way. So all you North Americans like me, woohoo. Yeah, we don't get this. Here's the thing, though. You'll still have access to it. I'm sure some people will have some for sale. Second of all, these are definitely going to end up in an MJ holding product at some point. So there will be light of destruction at your Walmarts in a year or two, something like that, maybe mystery boxes, etc. So that's super fun. But for now, North Americans, tough luck. Secondly, what exactly are we reprinting in here? OK, so I have the price guide up. I need to figure this out. What are we reprinting? Because what written initially, I was like, what cards do we need out of here? I guess there's some Edison cards. Let's figure it out. Judgment Dragon. Obviously, there goes our investment, even though it's first ed, still going to hurt it. Another thing, Honest Ghoster is coming in here. Is that going to be cool? Is the Ghoster going to look good? Ghost from the past two ones, Ghost from the past one. They didn't look that great compared to the old ones. I really hope that they like, you know, maybe because it's EU. EU always gets cooler stuff than us, to be honest. Maybe it'll look better. We'll have to see. Hopefully it looks like an old school ghost rare. You know, it's not the crappy new, like weird foiling they do. We'll have to see. Oh, same thing. We're getting ultimate rares in here, I guess. So ultimate rares, are they going to be like the OTS ultis? What are they going to look like? I'm really interested. Are they going to be old school style, new school style? I'm guessing new. It'll make it really easy to tell from like the old reprint, but maybe not. Patch of Cephalo. There goes my value in the Patch of Cephalo. It's really interesting because Edison cards have been like the only thing going up. But if they start reprinting full sets, it's definitely going to hurt that. Uh, Honest. OK, I'm trying to figure out what we actually needed a reprint for. Soul Re this is an ulti, whatever. We don't need reprints for ulties. Maybe the I guess the Light Sworn Monk, maybe that doesn't have a lot of prints. Substitute. Yeah, I know Simo was pumped about this one. Simo was like, Substitute, baby, it was all worth it. But yeah, $30 rare. That is getting a little out of hand. Do we need to reprint the whole set for it? I don't know. Uh, rare there. We have Raiko. Wow, getting crazy and unlimited. Okay, maybe I see why here. Let's see, what is it first said? 32 bucks. Okay, so $23. I guess Raikyo doesn't have that many accessible prints, but okay, this is that's not the case at all. I'm looking here. There's 50 cent Raikos. So like, 
Yeah, the, the LODT version is expensive, but there are 50 cents, 70 cent, 49 cent, 49 cent, 50, 75 cent. There's six copies under a dollar. Didn't need that. Okay, the Aaron, there's there's a, literally a 15, two 15 cent structure deck versions. 60 cent out of the, okay, we didn't need that either. I'm trying to figure out what cards we needed this reprint for. Okay, so Fog King, this is a side deck card in Edison. So it's not even that big, but I don't know if they use it anywhere else. 18 cent structure deck version or speed duel version. 69 cents, 79, there's literally cheap versions of every card so far. I'm so confused. Oh my gosh, I'm confused by this reprint. I am mixed feelings here, because Light Destruction openings, if I'm able to get my hands on some, it's gonna be super fun. I just don't get the point of this. I guess because there's been recent Light Sworn support, you now have like more accessible, but like what's more accessible than a 15 cent structure deck version? I really don't know. Like we're down to like $10 cards, $7 cards, five, like I don't understand. I don't get it. And, and like, if you think it's like, well, they're reprinting it because like people are going to want to open it. They didn't even give it to the NA. North Americans don't even get to open it. So are these like harder to find in EU maybe? Maybe in like the EU because this is TCG player. Maybe on like card market. They don't have any of those structure decks for some reason. I'm confused. If you have any idea in the comments, make sure to let me know and like enlighten some other people because I'm just straight confused. Okay, and then let's get to the second half. Structure deck, Realm of Light, Unlimited Print, and brand new cards available in the upcoming core set, Legacy of Destruction. So in a, by the way, we're getting something. We're getting the Structure deck, Realm of Light, Unlimited Print. Who's excited? Now let's take a look at this graphic. Um, Nick over here already tagged me in this, so th shout out to Nick. Let's just read this set information. Light Destruction was not only renowned for its introduction of Light Swarm, but also some iconic cards that were played for many years following its release, such as Gladiator Beast Guy Zerus, which is like a $5 super, so I guess there's something there. Hero Blast and Substitute. Oh, Substitute, there we go. You can relive these eras with the Time Wizard format. Whoa, shout out to Time Wizard. Okay, was this an official Yu-Gi-Oh post? I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh! News specifically made this, maybe not. It also introduced cards that have been used even more recently, cards such as Fossil Dyna and Deck Lockdown. Oh, stay away. There is so much back in this retro booster. Honestly, though, there's one more thing. For the first time since 2008, you can see Honest make its return in Glorious Ghost Rare. I hope it's glorious. I hope it's not ugly. I hope it's really good because that would be really exciting. The thing is, there's already an unlimited Honest, so I don't even need this card. So like... In my binder, our, there's a spot for first set, spot for unlimited. Uh, there's no reprint slot, so I don't even need this card. All right, so honestly, I am really perplexed. I'm perplexed by this. I don't get it. It's completely out of character for Konami. Normally, it's like they do the same things. They reprint the same things. But recently, Konami has gone off the hinges with 25th anniversary. They've reprinted every Starlight Rare that they can. They're getting as many quarter centuries out there as possible, which at this point, I've accepted it. You know, I, at first I was like, oh man, I really hope they don't. It's, it's too late. They're doing it. They're reprinting every Starlight. I mean, that's not that's not official, but they, they were doing a lot of Starlight reprints at 25th anniversary, which is, uh, you know, technically not the same rarity, but very similar. Though I will say, if you look at both side by side starlight does look a lot better so i will say that if you are a starlight fan but they just don't reprint old sets they reprint those same sets over and over they did the legendary collection game board and the binder they did that over and over every few years and even in gx like they did legendary collection gx but they didn't reprint the sets they made like a whole new booster for it, like legendary collection 2 and you can get those cards in there but that's not the exact same set but now they're doing light of destruction but they're just reprinting the whole set. It's very, very strange. And I don't know what triggered this to do this. Maybe it's the 25th anniversary. They wanted to have like a really cool set come back, which honestly, if you're going to pick a cool set to be reprinted, Light of Destruction is probably the one. So, I mean, for that reason, I'm super pumped because it's going to be a really fun opening. I just feel strange about it. I feel weird. Uh, I feel like I'm being targeted with the Judgment Dragon thing. We, we literally picked one of the coolest cards ever. And I'm like, there's... I, if you would ask me when we invested, what are the chances they reprint Judgment Dragon in Light of Destruction, like the same full set, I would have said zero at that point. Literally zero. I was like, it could not happen. And guess what? It's happening. So I don't know what to think. What I really, really hope, I don't know if they're going to do this, but I really hope they put it in old school card format. I don't think they will because they just did the 25th anniversary reprints in the new card format. And I know it's a there's a good good side to that because the new card format has like different texts and stuff like that but the feel of the booster would be so much different if it's old school if it has the old school style if it has like old school borders and old school formatting and if they do the similar ghost similar ulties as the old school ones it'll have like it'll just be crazy awesome and it, even if it's similar to the original unlimited and that like really impacts that unlimited it doesn't really matter it's going to be really really awesome but if they do like the newer stuff and they do like kind of the crappier looking ghost rares like with the ghosts from the past too which don't necessarily look great you got to get them in the perfect light to be able to see them and make them look good and same thing with the new ultis i love the new ultis but if you're going to do the old cards it'd be great if they were in the old version though i could you could argue 
We don't have the new version of a lot of these cards, so maybe it would be cool to have the new ulti. I don't know. And then the secret rares, I think new secret rares are actually pretty popping. Uh, Light of Destruction secret rares are decent, so I, I wouldn't really be mad either way with the secret rares. Oh man, I just don't know what to think about this. It's it's baffling, honestly. I, I already told a bunch of people there's no way it's happening, and I was completely wrong. So it's happening. Light of Destruction is being reprinted. It's crazy coming out on August 8th. So in August, we got something to look forward to. I'm definitely going to try to get my hands on some of this, even though I am not from the EU. So that kind of sucks, but it is going to be a fun opening if we can manage to get a few boxes or cases or whatever we can get. So this is a fun news update. I know we're a day late because I had to post yesterday's video because it's like the whatnot stream and everything like that. So a little bit behind, but I had to talk about this. I mean, this is wild. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Puffin Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Another Side Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barney, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.